So hello everyone, welcome to another video of the series and in this video we are going to talk about importing assets into the engine. So uh, we created these two folders uh, in the previous video and we are going to use both of these folders today. So let's go to meshes folder for once and uh, let's, I have a, you know, I have a FBX file here. If you have an FBX file, you can just drag and drop it into your content browser and you'll get FBX import options. Edit these and import it. Another way we can do this is by clicking on add slash import and import became slash meshes. But what I like to do is just drag and drop because it's relatively easier. Alright, so now we have the FBX import options. Uh, this window right here. So we have a couple of options right here. Uh, there are, of course, many options. You can just expand these. That's the whole of options. So what we are going to see today is skeletal mesh and a couple of more options. So let's talk about the skeletal mesh. If you enable this, you need to assign a skeleton or, you need to, or you, it will just take from the mesh itself. But this is definitely not a skeletal mesh. This is a static mesh. A skeletal mesh is a mesh which has bones in it. Um, for example, if you have a character, uh, like um, a human character, then it has bones uh, which are used to drive animation. So if you have that, something like that, you can enable skeletal mesh. Uh, maybe you can even assign a skeleton here. We have two skeletons here already. But for now, it's not a static mesh. It's a static mesh. It's not a skeletal mesh. So yeah, it's going to be static mesh. Another thing you can see is generate uh, missing collisions. Uh, if you just expand it a bit, generate missing collision. So this, actually what it does is if the collision is missing and if it's a missing collision, so it can just uh, automatically generate the collision for you based on the mesh. So it's really useful thing. And these are uh, things we are not going to really use these things. These are the advanced options, show advanced. And then another thing I'm going to show is force front x axis. So some assets, if you just import uh, ex import it from somewhere like Maya or Blender, then their uh, front axis may or may not be x. If you have not actually assigned x as the front axis, for example, in Blender, it's not the x axis by default. So if you are sure that you have not, uh, if you are not sure that the x axis is um, you know the front axis because X is the front axis in Unreal Engine. You're not sure if you have exported it right, then definitely take this. But we already know we have um, we have front axis as X already in this mesh, so we are not going to use it. And for the material, this is the uh, another important part of this. So the search location is local and the parent. All of these. So uh, in the most cases, you want to have local and local will actually search inside of this mesh and material import method, uh, it has, um, you know, three of these, create new materials, materials are, you know, just uh, materials themselves, instance materials, uh, material instance is created and don't create a material. If you have materials already, then you can just leave it as it is, but we don't have, so we are going to import this. And after you have all the settings uh, nice and done, you can just click on import. Now you may get this uh, warning right here, no smoothing group. Just ignore it, it's not even necessary. And if we just open this static mesh, we have a static mesh. We have a mesh. It does not have any color though, but um, it's a static mesh. Really good. Or we also have a material in here and as there was no texture in the FBX we used, the material is only a default material. Alright, so we have the static mesh imported. Now we can of course drag it to our scene. We can try to interact with it. Okay, that's loud. We have collision as well. We can uh, see the collision something like this, the collision, and this is the complex collision, the blue one is the complex collision. So as you can see the collision visualization and it's really helpful. You can definitely see the UVs as well and other things as well. 
This is the static mesh. But here we're not talking about the static mesh. That's why we're not really clearly talking about it. We are talking about importing things into the content browser and using them in your project. All right, so we have a chair. And this chair is actually from the start to, uh, start to content. I just exported it from there and just imported it again. <laughs> so yeah, so we already have the material for this. So if you want the material for this, there's just no material. This is a default material in here. I'm just gonna force delete it for now. And now it is replaced with the world grid material, which is the default material if you don't have any material on. So I now want to assign this a material. I will assign this a material for now. Um, you know, just any of these materials. I really don't want to search, but uh, I found it. Yep. So this is the chair material. Something like that. So that's how you actually import stuff into the uh, content browser. Uh, the actually the same goes for stuff like textures and materials. So let's actually try importing a texture in here. I have a couple of images from earlier. Um, let's have it right here. The Unreal Assets, the Textures folder. So recently I just downloaded this water texture right here to you know, just sort of make a water. I'm just trying to make water. So I'm gonna just use this texture. The reason for that is I'm too lazy to search for new textures and I'm using this texture. So I'm just gonna drag it in here and it comes. It does not show you any options because it's just a texture. You don't even need <coughs> options. You can open this texture and see this texture. Zoom it in. See all of the um, assets about here. Compression, texture, the file path. It, you can also adjust this. You know, increase your brightness maybe. Increase the brightness of the image as you can see. Really cool. And what you can do with this texture is basically apply this to something. For example, let's apply to this. This will automatically generate a material for us. Yeah, I mean, it does not look the, it's not the best thing in the world, but um, it's a texture, so we cannot complain. All right, so in this video, we saw how do you import stuff into the um, content browser. So let me just delete this material right here. We we'll need it for now. So we are, um, definitely importing stuff like we have imported a mesh and of course we can use a material on this mesh and one more thing you cannot use a directly you can directly not use a texture in here you of course have to create a material so of, uh, of course in this video we actually saw how to import a texture we saw how to import a mesh and we saw how to place a mesh into our scene and of course f2 just zoom it in just like that really cool Alright, so if you liked the video and if you thought it was helpful, then please be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, it just takes you maybe like 2-3 seconds and it helps me a lot. And of course, you can get the notifications for new videos. The very first, just believe me, the very first person, you are the very first person to get the notification. So yeah, subscribe. Thank you.